Hello everyone and welcome to another segment of FF Insider. I'm Sam and I'm joined today by Nick Constantine, the manager of vehicle packaging. And we're going to be talking about the work that goes into putting a vehicle into production. So Nick, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks, Sam. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us again. And uh, can you tell the people what is vehicle packaging? What is your day to day? So my day to day really involves uh, making sure that every part in the car has a place to be that it has the correct amount of space and orientation to fit within the constraints of the design surfaces and the uh, ergonomic package of the vehicle. Well, this is not your first time working for an automotive manufacturer, so how is it working at FF and our startup-like culture? Well, it's actually it's really exciting. What we don't have is a lot of uh, design legacy that we're stuck with, so we get to come up with a lot of unique solutions to current modern problems, providing a unique user experience. Do you feel like you have your hands uh, in a lot right now, working with a lot of different departments? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Packaging for the complete vehicle as, a, as an integrated unit to ensure that the product is as it's supposed to be at the end uh, requires daily collaborated efforts with all of the engineering domains. Body, electrical, manufacturing, service, to make sure that we don't uh, paint ourselves into a corner. Well, how is it working for a company that is so user focused, so much so that we created the Futurist Product Officer program where you can interact, so users can interact with FF and we can take the things that they want or they think should be in the vehicle and bring them in? Well, it's really actually kind of exciting. It's empowering to have that kind of direct input from the user base and it allows us to respond much quicker uh, to what the, the user actually wants the vehicle to do. I know that your day is very busy. Your day to day is super swamped, probably. Your hands oh, yes. in a lot of things, you're doing a lot. What is your favorite part about working at FF? Well, my favorite part about FF is working with a, a team of brilliant and dedicated people. We're a good, cohesive team, and we all are working diligently to the same goal. And it's just a great experience. And as far as being a startup, uh, there's no limit to what we can do to aid and assist uh, any department. So really, it's a, it's a wonderful learning experience every day. The experience is definitely unbeatable, I would agree. Well, you used to work at FF a few years ago, and then you've just rejoined us pretty recently. What made you want to come back? You know, I've, I've always been a believer in the, the end product world-class high-end luxury vehicle that has user interfaces that nobody's ever seen before. I wanted to come back and finish that job. I want to see that vehicle go into production and anything that I can do to help move that along, it's, it's great. Well, we're happy to have you here for sure. And speaking of the vehicle, what do you think is your favorite part of FF91? I think my favorite part is the seamlessness of the, the user experience from approach to the vehicle, unlocking, opening the door, getting in and interfacing with all the different systems. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing and it's a unique, seamless experience. I know that when we were in New York City, uh, everybody was able to experience the car, even uh, they could just walk up to it on the street and see it. And I think that was one of the biggest comments that we got is the idea that you can walk up to the car and the doors greet you, you know? It opens up and says, hello. <laughs> and you're just welcomed into this experience because I think it's more than just a vehicle, right? Absolutely. That's cool. Well, Nick, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, for giving us your perspective on what it's like to be here, working here. Absolutely. My pleasure. And thank you all for watching this segment of FF Insider. If you haven't already, make sure you download the FF Intelligent app available on iOS and Android. And we'll catch you on the next segment of FF Insider.